When a beam of polarized light enters an anisotropic crystal, double refraction occurs. This produces two rays, a slow ray and a fast ray, and they continue up the microscope tube. In this video, we're going to look at what happens when those two rays reach the upper polarizer. In most microscopes, the lower polarizer produces light that is vibrating east-west, and the upper polarizer only allows light to get through that's vibrating north-south. So, if there was no mineral grain in the way, no light could pass through the two filters. But, if light is passing through a mineral grain, as double refraction occurs, two rays are created vibrating perpendicularly and neither of them is likely to be parallel or perpendicular to the polarizing filters. So, when light reaches the upper polarizer, some of it's going to be able to get through. Because the upper polarizer is oriented in north-south direction, the rays are going to be filtered to remove their east-west components. The energy of the east-west components will be absorbed by the filter. Above the upper polarizer, the rays then are vibrating in the same plane and they can interfere to produce interference colors that we'll talk about later. What about light intensity? The vibration directions of the two rays depend upon the orientation of atoms within the crystal. So if we rotate the stage like we're doing here, the vibration directions rotate as well. If the directions happen to be north, south, and east, west, one of the rays will have intensity zero because only light vibrating east, west makes it through the lower polarizer. And the other ray, when it reaches the upper polarizer, will not be able to get through because it is vibrating east, west. Consequently, the grain will appear black. It will be at extinction. As we rotate the stage slowly, more and more light will get through and the maximum amount of light will be when the angle is at 45 degrees to extinction. And then the light will decrease and the grain will go extinct again. So the grain goes from dark to light to dark to light and extinction occurs every 90 degrees.